music is about repeating patterns in a certain way and really if you think about it like music is just like all these different overlays of certain patterns and, and a looper is literally just a pattern recorder it allows you to overlay these certain things you know with your instrument that create sort of new worlds and so the benefit is just a tool you know like a robot so where you you play something and it can play it right back to you and then all of a sudden you record something on a different beat over it it makes you feel a different way even though if it's just like you know two chords or something like that so you can get really you know you can go into a whole hypnotic space with it and and that really is the benefit of it is really just sitting in in a, a sound so i think that it just it lets you get deeper in music i feel something about that space where you're not thinking and you create something when you're not thinking and and the, i think a lot of tools if there are tools in the world that can just help us get out get our get out of our own heads get out of our own way then that's going to lead to creating better music because what happens is when you, when you work in a doll system too much there's so many options you know, there's so many plugins, there's so many tracks. You can do 300 takes of one thing if you want. And what that does is it it makes you question yourself. So if you could bring a little bit of that doll system, the little little bit that it can offer outside into something like this, which kind of is what the Arrows does, but way simpler and just create, you know, it, it lets you repeat, record, you know, do all your things, see it too, but... But, it, you know, there's certain limitation to it, which is good because then you create more naturally, you create more authentically, you create more honestly. That's why I like analog synths more than, you know, a VST plug-in. Um, it's just because of that idea of just being physical, being out. Like, you just, you feel like you're in the room more, you know. The more you can try to get outside of this little computer world and get more into the into your physical space and really be into where you're recording and just being present uh the better the music's going to be so i think the arrows that helps helps do that so. I'm using the Eros Looper here in conjunction with Logic. We started with the drum loop uh, from Aaron that we recorded here at the crib here. And uh, just using the Eros to sort of just use this keyboard world and sort of find a melody, sort of a hypnotic sort of place to create a melody and put some emotion behind those drums. So um, Logic is setting out a MIDI clock. The drums are on that MIDI clock in the DAW. And... I'm basically playing to his drums, trying to create as many layers as I can to f just find a melody or find some t something that can fit, you know. Um, so, yeah, just kind of vibing on this. So this is the drums here. Those are the drums. It's like hip-hop vibe, sort of, you know, hard groove. cool thing about the, the arrows is now I could just control everything I recorded right here and mix it in here while I'm creating, you know. I'll bring in the bass. Some sub 37 there.
MSN. You know, you can lower things and mute them as you go. This is the screen, you know. It's, it's, it's beautiful. If you wanted to hear it almost without it. Sort of its world of its own already, you know. So anytime I hit this space bar too. So integrated really well with MIDI, no delay, no latency, nothing. So it's actually it's pretty fun today. Thank you. 